does, but for some time, a lot of people have been waiting for Occupy Nashville to kind of, um, I don't know, if shift in focus or add a new focus or at least extend their efforts. So this is also something new. I mean, it's very important because it's Bailey's struggle, but uh, for Occupy Nashville, what does this mean? Is this something that's going to continue? This is just the first of what we expect to be a citywide campaign. Yeah! This, we're, we're starting late in the game in Nashville. This, they've been doing this in Miami for eight or nine years. They've been doing this in Boston for nearly a decade. They've been doing this in LA for years. Here in Nashville, we realized with all of the energy coming and all of the desperation that we've been seeing, that it was time for us to not only be reclaiming public space in a downtown plaza, but to hold on to the space that's being ripped away from us at such a painful rate this winter. Mm -hmm. And so, not only at Occupy Nashville, but at occupations across the country, we're seeing an expansion of the struggle to be in neighborhoods, to be on the blocks that we live in, and to specifically be in defending the homes that we grew up in. And I think that that's something that you can expect to see more of. Yeah. 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 First and last name, please. Stephen Fifield. That's F I F I E L D. Okay. Stephen. How do you spell it? S T E V E N. And uh, your title and your role here. Uh, associate attorney at the Rocky McElhaney Law Firm. I have business cards. We can hand those out. Okay. So, um, from a legal standpoint, you know what's uh, what's the next step? Well, the next step is working on getting paperwork back to Chase. Uh, we have asked for a short sale to be approved. Uh, an offer has been made by a third party to Chase to purchase the home, um, and Chase needs some more paperwork from us. We are working with Ms. Bailey this weekend to put the rest of that paperwork together so we can fax that over to Chase this week and continue to work with the negotiator they've assigned to this file, uh, hopefully to have that short sale approved faster than Chase normally does. I've heard it can take uh, well over a month for them to process some of these things. So that's the next step for us. Could you explain how and why you got involved with Occupy Nashville? Why you're asking? Well, uh, our law firm has been working for Miss Bailey for a number of years now, trying to help her uh, with this house and keep her here. And this summer, our main goal was to have a reverse mortgage approved. Uh, we went through a company called United Capital Lending. Uh, we started the proceedings for that. We had a appraisal done of the house, we had a counseling session completed and well on our way to moving that forward to completion when we got the appraisal back. It came in a little bit low and unfortunately there was going to be a shortfall between the amount of money that could be taken out of the equity of the house and what would be needed to pay off Chase. When we reached that situation, my first step was to reach out to Chase and ask for a principal reduction. Um, the principal in the house was about $102,000. We needed it to be at about 93000 in order for the reverse mortgage to go through. If Chase had done that this summer, we would have been able to move forward with the reverse mortgage and finalize that, and Ms. Bailey would be in her house, and none of you fine people would be here today. Uh, Chase has a steadfast principle of not reducing uh, their principles of their mortgages. Uh, their whole point to me was, well, if we start doing that in this case, we're going to have to do it for everybody who has a hard luck story. And when they refused to do anything with us along those avenues, I began looking into all, all of our other options we had, and there aren't many. Um, in this kind of a climate, one person trying to fight against a bank the size of Chase is just nearly impossible. So having heard of the actions that Occupy has taken uh, around the nation, in Atlanta, in Boston, uh, I figured, let's give it a shot. Let's talk <laughs> yeah, to some people yeah. that care about people like Miss Bailey, mm -hmm. people who are invested in the community, people who want to make sure that people like Miss Bailey don't lose their homes. So I made Woo. the decision to send an email out, and I got an overwhelming response. Woo. I didn't expect it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect this kind of support, but knowing Ms. Bailey for over a year and a half as I have, I should not have been surprised. Yes. <laughs> now, in the previous statement, we heard uh, something along the lines of the bank being involved in activities that should be illegal, and there's a lot of people behind you that are morally objected to what's happening here. From a legal standpoint, is Chase doing anything outside of the law? 
Not to my knowledge. I can't exactly comment on that. Um, in this situation, uh, Ms. Bailey's home has been placed in foreclosure due to her inability to pay that mortgage uh, for a number of factors. Uh, but I don't believe that uh, any of the actions that Chase has taken in this particular situation have been um, illegal. When did it go into foreclosure? Foreclosure began uh, late last spring. Uh, Ms. Bailey stopped being able to make the payments around April. Um, and that's shortly thereafter is when we approached Chase asking for the principal reduction. Can we, uh, can we talk? Well, ma'am, thanks for having us over. Uh, there's a lot of people behind you here to support you. Uh, what are your thoughts on having all the support from the community? Oh, I think it's wonderful. Because I have barked for years for civil rights. Now, how long have you uh, lived in this home? Maybe about. I bought it. I lived in it seven years. And maybe about 23 years. I'm trying to count it. So, but I've been here a long time. And obviously, the reason a lot of people are behind you is to try and keep you from losing that home you've lived in for almost a quarter of a century, it seems like. Uh, what are, I mean, how does it feel to know that, you know, that might happen? Well, I don't know. I really don't. I couldn't answer that question. Because I really don't. But you are worried. I mean, you, that's why you got a hold of um, Occupy Nashville. Is that right? I mean, what was your, what was your fear? When you got a hold of your lawyer in Occupy Nashville, what was it that you were afraid that was going to happen? I believed in God, and I believed that Steve was going to stand by me regardless. I had faith in him. How difficult has it been to go through all of this, to not know if you'll be able to stay in your house? How has that been for you? You know... I really wasn't scared, because I had been out there marching so long for civil rights. Yes. And wasn't too much could scare me. Mm. Mm. If I may ask, what? How, did you know about Occupy Nashville? What did you know about Occupy Nashville before all of this? No, I didn't. But what do you think of them now? Oh, I think they wonderful. <laughs> Look at all these people standing here for you. What do you think of that? I think it's wonderful. It's paying off. Yeah. <laughs> what would it mean for you to be able to stay here in your home for the rest of your life and not to have to move? What would that mean for you? Oh, I love it. I don't like moving. <laughs> I didn't buy the house to move out of it. Oh, yeah. I bought it to live here until I died. And if I could go out there with no, I would still be marching for civil rights because I believe in civil rights. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! And so what would you feel if you did have to move? How would that? If I had to move, well, I had to accept it, you know. But I would cry. And what do you say to all of the other people who are in similar situations to yourself, who are at risk of losing their home? What, I mean, what do you say to them? We can get out there and march from them. You guys don't mind. I'm going to move my my mic's getting bogged down. Let me just grab that. these people standing behind you that you'll be able to make a change and you'll be able to stay here? Do you think this will work? I believe they'll stand by me. Woo! Yeah. I stood by them. I believe they'll stand by me. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Ma'am. Anything else? 